You're welcome to this physics particle and in today's class we are going to be looking at number one physics experiment for YX 2024 and the list of apparatus given to us include rotor stand and this, uh, this is the rotor stand, sometimes they call it support. So here is rotor stand. The next one is spring balance. This is the spring balance. This is also spring balance and it comes with different designs. So this is the one we are using. So we have a beaker, this is a beaker, but they didn't tell us the, the beaker we are to use, whether it's 500 milligram, milliliter or whatever, but any one you have, this size is good enough. So this is the beaker we have, and set of masses, so the masses we have here, based on the question, uh, the one we have is 150, 200 and 250, so with this we can achieve that. So we have liquid, kerosene is there, we'll be using it when we start the experiment. And water is also there, so water, we'll be using it when we start our experiment. And other necessary materials. I decided to come with my tissue, so that when I, when I immerse in water, I can clean very well before I immerse in kerosene. So these are the things we are given. And if you look at the board, you see the setup. The instruction is according to this diagram, and we use all these apparatuses to set up this as it is shown on the board. The instructions are many, but I decided to crop it down with the ones that are most important. He said, record the mass of object in air. So you first record the mass of the object in air using your spring balance, and remember, the mass of object in air, then the weight in water, so when you put it in water, there will be a buoyancy, or sometimes we call it the uptrust. So that uptrust recorded is going to be the mass in air minus mass in water, and also weight in kerosene. When you record weight in water and weight in kerosene, you evaluate the uptrust in water. It's going to be mass in air minus mass in water. You find the uptrust in water. You also find the uptrust in kerosene with this expression, which is W1 minus W3. So after this, we repeat the experiment with different masses, 100, 150, 200, and 250, then plot a graph of V versus U. The graph of V versus U is very, very important because it shows us what is called relative, relative density. And relative density is equal to um, uptrust, uptrust in liquid, all over up trust in water. So if that is the case, then we know that what we are doing in this experiment is to find the relative density of kerosene. And that is what we intend to achieve. But if you plot the graph, let me show you this. This is very important. So I'm going to say relative density is equal to. So the up trust in this case is V, which is what we are plotting on the vertical axis all over. U, which is what we are plotting on the horizontal. So if you do this, uh, we are going to say that V is equal to relative density times U plus zero. That means the graph is supposed to pass through the origin. Because when I compare it with this equation, the constant is zero because there is no value is, is here. So the, value, the graph must pass through the origin. And the slope of our graph is going to be relative density of, of kerosene. That is the essence of this our experiment, and we are going to achieve it. And our graph is going to be V, U, and it should pass through the origin. Are you ready for this? So we are going to the lab to carry out the experiment. All right, we are back to the laboratory. Let's carry this experiment. Remember, we have to record the mass of object in air uh, according to the instruction, it should be 50, but then remember, when you measure this using your spring balance, it may not hit exactly 50. But this is laboratory. We are going to record whatever we have from our instrument. That is it. So we can also approximate to 50. It's possible. Approximation is allowed. All right, let's go. I am, I am putting this one, it should be 50 on my instrument. Let's see what we recorded, see. Let's see, so this is our value. 
remember paradox error one of the precautions i i ensured okay i avoided error due to paradox while reading the the spring balance okay this is 40 now let's call it 50 approximately though 50 approximately so now when we measure that one what is weight in water what should i do right now i will make sure that this is immersed in water i will now measure the weight when it is immersed in water so let's go i'm going to tie this one sorry i'm going to tie this like this <coughs> Right, so I'll hang it on the hook. The mass of the thread is negligible, of course. So I'm going to let this down until it is fully immersed in water. Remember Archimedes' principle is very important. When a body is totally or partially totally immersed in water, it experiences a buoyancy or upward force, which is equal to the to the weight of the fluid displaced. And because I have immersed it, make sure it does not touch the bottom. That would be an infringement. All right. All right, since it, everything is good, let us record the new mass to know if it is still 50 or 49. Let's see. Of course, this is, I am going to call this 48. 48. Remember, it was 49, now it's 48. I need to consider that very important. I'm not going to do that approximation. I will consider that. So what I'm going to do right now is to record. So what I'm going to do right now is weight, weight in air. I had my own as 49 grams. So now U is equal to 49 minus, like I have here, 48. So U is 1. 1 gram. Right? So according to what the table, see how my table is going to be? My table is going to be M, which is mass in gram. Mass in gram. So I'm going to have U, U, which is going to be called to weight in air minus weight in water, W2, W sub 2, weight in water. So I'm going to have V, which is mass in air minus mass when immersed in kerosene. Oh, I need to write my my unit so my unit is going to be here it should be gram as well very important now i have the first one under 50. so under 50 so let's have 50 50.00 then this is going to be 50 minus 48 which is 2.00 let's go with that as approximation it will be better for us now i'm done with water let me immerse it in kerosene. Remember, the volume of water and that of kerosene should be the same thing because volume plays a very big part in this Archimedes principle. So I'm raising this up. It's out. So I brought my tissue paper to clean the water. I will still hang it back, bring my kerosene, let me see what will happen. This is where it's very, you need to be very careful at this point. So let me immerse it to see what will happen. It's totally immersed. What will be the new mass? Eighty-five point five. Eighty-five point five. So this is going to be. Forty-eight, not eighty-five. Forty-eight point five. One point five. 
1.50. So this is what we have. So the weight when in mass in kerosene is 85.5. The weight when immersed in water is approximately 48. So with this, we are going to the next one. We are going to increase the mass. So I'm going to increase this mass and repeat the experiment for 150, 200, and 250 and record our findings. What we are recording is our findings. So I'm looking for 100. The truth is that some of these masses may not be exactly 100. But we are going to look at the trend of our results. Okay, so I'm going to immerse in water. So under 150. Oh, that is 150. Okay, let's record for 150. We'll come back to 100. So under 150, what is the mass in water? So I'm having one, two. So I need to find what each division is all about. This is zero, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So each division is 10. So this is 100. 110, 120. So I'm recording 120. So what we are going to do is 150 minus 120, which is going to be 30. 150 minus 20, 120 is going to be 30, of course. All right, so I'm going to remove it and also immerse in kerosene to find out what we are going to have. So let's pull it up. One ten, one twenty, one twenty five, one twenty five. So one fifty minus one twenty five, you are having twenty five. So this is twenty five point zero zero. All right. So it, the trend is working. This is always bigger than this. The uptrust in water is bigger than the uptrust in kerosene. All right, let's go to 100. Let's do 100. If that 100 can be constant, then we take our um, readings as true. Remove this carefully. So I'm removing 100, I'm removing 50. So I will deal with 100. All right, so this is 100. So let's go. I'm going to immensity water. <clears throat> I 
as it is well immersed in water. And I'm having, this is 50, 60, 70, 85. I'm having 85. So, so I'm having 100 minus 85, I'm having 15. So, 15.00. So, I'm going to put it in water, in kerosene as well, to find what my... I am expecting that this value should be less than this value. Look at this. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. So 100 minus 90 is 10. All right. So it's sure. But then uh, there are a few recordings that some people do, which I just want to point out to you. If you want to extend the table, whereby you have to record W2 at each one and W3 at each one, all in gram. But this is still a perfect table. So at this point, your experiment is well done. You can do 200 and 250 as well. You are going to be having trend. If you go to 200, you're expecting to have maybe something close to 50. And this should be 40, thereabout, you know, because the table is also trending, increasing all the bodies. One. So you're going to have a straight line graph. Like I said before, your graph is going to be a straight line graph. And it should pass through the center, the origin, because and your slope should be slope should be the relative density of kerosene. That is the experiment. Thank you for being part of this class and have a good day.